Hey, 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 this is Pierre Dracot. For once, I'm going to do a video on Outlook. Some people are still sending email with attachment. And so let's see the different scenarios. So the first one is you take a file on your computer. Let's take this one and you drag and drop it. So as you can see in the new Outlook, actually, I'm going to put everything in two win different windows. In the new Outlook, when you drag and drop a file, it tells you, hey, do you want to upload it in OneDrive or do you want to attach a file? So if you attach a file, that's the worst way you can do it. But, you know, Outlook going to tell you that maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe you should upload it to OneDrive and because it will uh, avoid to have multiple versions going somewhere. And they will not pollute the inbox of several people. So that's a, a, a good advice. And uh, let's say I'm going to send it to myself. Uh, my personal email address. Uh, obviously, you need to have your admin allowing uh, sharing document externally. So here it's an attachment. But if you did this mistake, you can still change. So you can say, OK, I want to upload it in my uh, OneDrive. So now you'll see what's going to happen. Actually, now it's becoming a link. And actually, here you can change and see and open it in web app. And you'll see that if I open this file in the, in the web app, this file is stored somewhere on OneDrive. So let's see where it's stored. So it's stored in a folder called Attachments. So if I click here, Attachments, I will see all the files that I just uploaded as an attachment to email. So if I go to my files, there's a folder called attachments. Let's sort by name and you'll see there's a folder called attachments. And that's where files are stored uh, when you attach them to an email. So that's the first scenarios. First scenario is to attach it as a file. I don't like that. The second scenario is to say upload it as a document in OneDrive. It goes to the attach, file, attach folders. And then you can send the email tests external sharing in Outlook. So that's the first way to do it. The second way to do it is to create an email and you see this feature in, in the new outlook if you type slash it will show you the first three documents you've been working on recently but if you type you know i think onedrive here i can see the same file so it will find the document in my OneDrive because it was stored in my OneDrive and attach to this email and it will grant the permission to the people here. If I want to be specific here to grant permission, I can go there, change the sharing options. And as you can see here, I can say recipient message of this message will be granted. So here I shall I'm going to type my name again, and I'm going to say not just people at Planet, but recipient of this message. And they can, I can change, you know, if it, they can edit or just view the document, or I can even eventually block the download if I want to. So. And then I can send it to the recipient. Let's call it text test two. Another way to do it is to go to if my document is already in my OneDrive. So here it's in a, in a folder called OneDrive. I want to send it directly from my OneDrive. So I can do several things. First one, I can open the document. 
and I can use this share button here and say share and I will have a window here I can add a message this is a word test and ca can type a name so the email address so pdel Okay, I'm going to choose this. It tells me, oh, you know what you're doing. Yes, I know what I'm going to doing. So I'm continuing. And I can see here that there's two, two people who have access, me and the external person. Here is the, the text that I can type in the, that I'm going to be sending the email. And I can change, you know, if how people can access to this document, they can edit, they can view whatever I want. I can change the access here and here you can send it. That's a, another way to do it. The last way to do it is without opening the document is to do the same exact same thing here. Right, right click here and you share from here. And you have the exact same window, so I'm not going to go through this process another time, but you have the exact same window. And I didn't show in the previous demonstration, they can click on the gear and you see all the options here. So three ways to do it. So let's see if I click on my personal outlook. I chose. I don't know why my internet is slow today. So here I have the free test. And I can click in here. So apparently it adds other stuff here. I'm not sure what it is. But I can click here. and access to this document. Uh, let's go back to the email. So you see it's exact same thing. It's a little bit different. When I share it directly from Windows Explorer, I have a different email. I still have, this is first test, so the text I type, but I have a link directly here. While here it's embedded in the email. So different ways to send attachments in an email. And so it works even with external users. And uh, it's pretty powerful in the new Outlook. I encourage everybody to try the new Outlook. And uh, to attach, definitely attach. If you attach, if you're sending an email with attachment, don't attach it as a document attach. There's another way here, you can go there and browse from your computer uh, OneDrive. So there's a, a, a actually a fourth ways to do it. Hope this was insightful.